What is good, everybody? Welcome back once again to the First Down Saints YouTube channel. I just finished watching the defensive tape from the game against the Carolina Panthers, and let me just tell you, it was just as impressive on the coach's film as it was watching it live. So as usual, I pieced together some clips I thought I'd share with you guys. I did the same thing for the offense a couple of nights ago and put out a video, so if you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and go check it out. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so this first clip I have here for you guys is especially cool to see because what did the Saints do in the offseason? They went out and they got Nathan Shepard and Kalen Saunders in free agency, mainly to shore up the run game. But obviously this play here is a pass. But I want you to take a look at the two defensive linemen in the middle, the two that win their reps here. Who are they? That's right, Nathan Shepard and Kalen Saunders. Both win the reps, beating the guys in front of them. Kalen Saunders gets bumped by the running back. But, you know, let's get the, cut the guy some slack. He's 300 pounds out there, all right? But Nathan Shepard there that'll be on the right side of the screen, 93, he had a phenomenal game, and this clip won't be the last that features him. Anyway, good clip to start off the game. Nice to see the new additions putting in the work. And then right here again, very next clip, Saunders and Shepard. See Saunders there, 93, on the right side of your screen. The Panthers are going to run outside zone, and their aiming point is somewhere around to the right of Shepard that gap there. But as you can see, Shepard is able to get on the outside, hold his gap, use his inside hand to kind of extend that offensive lineman and force the running back to cut back inside. And right there is where Big 99 is waiting for him. He just tosses his lineman aside and makes the tackle for a very short gain. Once again, those two showing up really early in this game. And then this play here, nothing special. Bryce Young is actually able to get this ball off for a nice completion over the middle. But I want to pay attention to the defensive ends Cam Jordan and Granderson over there on the right. Check out what they do to the tackles on this play. I mean, they pretty much sandwich Bryce Young. And, I mean, they could have high-fived at the end of this play. So, anytime you see that, that's probably not going to end up good for the offense. Uh, although, like I said, Bryce Young was able to get this ball off. But, again, I mean, how can you not love that? All right, and this play here, this is going to be third down and six. The Panthers know the Saints are going to be in man coverage. So what do they do? They come out in these stack alignments. And anytime you get these stack alignments, you're basically trying to cause chaos, cause confusion, maybe some rub routes or pick routes. And that's what they try to do here. They try to get this receiver in the way of Alante Taylor. But Alante Taylor does a nice job of kind of just stepping to the side a little bit, avoiding this guy and picking up this guy in man coverage, Adam Thielen, and ends up making a great play on the ball. So as you can see there, he kind of just steps aside, gets out of his way, finds Thielen, Sticks to him like glue all the way through. I mean, it doesn't really help that Adam Thielen gives the worst head fake of all time. That's like a Spencer James route. If you watch All-American, you know what I'm talking about. But again, just all over him. Makes a nice play on the ball. Should have had the interception, but we'll get those eventually. All right, here we are again. Kalen Saunders. Panthers are running what looks to be inside zone here. But check out big number 99. Take his guy and just move him out of the way get the tackle for the short gain. These two, Shepard and Saunders, I mean, I said it before, they were really impressed with this game. I feel like, you know, this game alone, if it's any sign to come, um, you know, these two signings will pay off big time in the long run. Next play here, big Carl Granderson with the nasty inside swim move to tackle the running back for a loss of yards. And if you remember last week, um, Trevor Penning actually did this, and there was a loss of yards on our part. So it's nice to see us doing it to other teams. But again, really nice move from Granderson there, who also had a really nice game and, you know, has been off to a really fast start this year. He'll probably get, if he continues to play like this, you know, the Saints or another team are going to pay him a pretty nice hefty contract. All right, third and 13 here, third and long. Panthers obvious passing situation. So what are they trying to do? Well, it looks like the Saints are in cover three, and they are. But this guy is going to kind of buzz down in this area, and this guy is actually going to be the one to drop it back here. So the Panthers are going to run kind of a double post concept. This guy is going to run a post this way, and then this outside guy is going to kind of follow him with his own post. And what they're trying to do is this inside post is meant to move this deep defender this way, clear him out, so that this outside post can take advantage of that and kind of catch the ball somewhere in this vacant area right here. But what the Saints do is Demario Davis down here is going to show blitz pre-snap, but as soon as the ball is snapped, he's going to draw back right into that passing window so that Bryce Young has nowhere to throw it to. You can see Bryce Young is already off of it, and, I mean, there's just nowhere to go for him, so he runs around like a little cockroach before he eventually just throws the ball away. 
All right, next play here, third and three. The Saints are going to show blitz pre-snap, and they're going to show man-to-man -man coverage behind it. Okay, everybody, see lined up across from somebody, one deep, cover one. So pre-snap, you think it's cover one, and they're sending the dogs, right? Well, wrong. And then as soon as the ball is snapped, those linebackers are going to drop out, and they're only going to rush three here. So you have three deep and five underneath defenders sitting right at the sticks up here to protect that first down marker. And Bryce Young, once again, has nowhere to go. Scrambles out, but he's able to get the ball out. Marshawn Lattimore breaks on it for a nice pass breakup. Maybe could have been a pick. You could see Lattimore gets up a little frustrated. But also on that play, big Carl Granderson again down there on the right side with the inside pressure. And like I said earlier, he had a really good game. But overall, just a nice job from Dennis Allen mixing it up. You know, they show man, ball snapped. All, all of a sudden, it's zone with five underneath defenders. You know, just confuses the young quarterback. All right, another third down here for the Panthers. The Saints are going to be in quarters coverage, right? You see this umbrella here that usually is a tail quarters, although they could shift out of it pre-snap, but this time they don't. So what are the Panthers trying to do? They have a bunch formation down here, and they're going to try and fake a screen pass to number five right here. What they're trying to do is get Lattimore to bite down on that, to vacate his zone back here so that they can get this guy leaked out here for a touchdown. But you see when I press play, Lattimore kind of bites down, but then he's like, wait, wait, wait. No, I've seen this before. I'm a veteran. I'm a top five cornerback in the league. That's not going to work. And if you watch Bryce Young, you know, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. Gets off of it. Nothing there. Then he gets hogged down from behind for the fumble. And I think it's even funnier from this view because if you watch Dennis Allen on the sideline when this ball is flopping around, I swear it looks like he wants to jump in the pile and go get it. I mean, he even steps on the field a little bit there. All right, third and three here. Up at the top, the Panthers are just trying to get a Debo on a pick route or a rub route up there. So the Saints are going to be in man-to-man -man coverage. So this DB right here is going to have this guy, and this guy is just going to come right here and stop and just try and get in the way of a Debo while this receiver kind of wheels up the sideline here. But as you can see when I press play, a Debo just does a really nice job of fighting through it, sticking with this guy, and, you know, that's about as good a job as you can do when it comes to those pick routes. Ball wasn't caught, incompletion, good play. And then this next play here, this is the sack from Nathan Shepard. There's his name again, right? And, you know, he beats the guard with ease. Nice little hand swipe there. And no offense to the short kings out there, but Bryce Young had absolutely no chance. I mean, when's the last time you've seen a guy get sacked by basically just having your jersey grabbed once? But nonetheless, another nice job from Nathan Shepard. All right, another third and long. This is third and 16. And once again, the Panthers are trying their double post concept and again kind of same thing as earlier this first one is just to clear out and they're trying to hit this outside one right in this area Saints are showing quarters coverage pre-snap which would be the Panthers would have the perfect play call if this was a quarter coverage but post-snap the Saints are going to rotate to cover three and you'll see once again Demario Davis gets right in that throwing window and Bryce Young's forced out of the pocket and has to dump it down to the running back and this right here is the final clip. Nothing special here. I just wanted to highlight the old man, Demario Davis, hawking down the young buck, Bryce Young there. Would have been a sack if it was a couple yards back. But like I said, that's the last clip. I appreciate you guys watching as usual. If you're a Saints fan, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't want to, that's cool too. I just appreciate you guys watching as usual. Peace.